Hello and welcome to the channel. Today uh, we're going to be doing something inside uh, on bikes. It, it does work for cars as well if you've got smaller pieces. Um, but I was fed up of cleaning um, the smaller bits on bikes, cassettes, chains, stuff like that. Um, and taking ages in the parts washer. Um, so I'll come up with something to try and clean and we'll see how it goes. Um, I did have a quick test uh, yesterday when I threw it together um, and it seems to work okay but we'll try it on this so we've got a cassette there quite greasy it'll take a while to clean that and get it get it all cleaned up and scrubbed down so we've got an old Sandria orbital, or, orbital sander um, we're going to put this on top of it um, and then we're going to put the cassette in there and we're going to see how clean it comes up. So all you need is also sander, but you do need it held down with something. This is obviously in the vice, because um, it will really go for it when you turn it on. Um, at the moment, we're just using these cable ties to hold it on top of the on top of the bench. Um, so we'll put that on there. I'm going to pause the camera a sec while I just put this together. This water is dirty, like I say, because I've done it. Well, this isn't water. You need to put some kind of degreaser in there. You can use boiling water and washing up liquid, and it will sort of work, because I tried it. Um, but I think the best thing is like old diesel or petrol or degreaser or something like that, because this will really get the things clean. Right, so we just pulled the cable ties over it. Um, this is a bit of a nightmare to hold on, because it's not square. If you've got a square box on there, it does stay on easier. Um, this one tries to shake itself off constantly, so you have to make some kind of contraption to keep it on, which we've got here. Um, I was using that box originally there, uh, but the lid doesn't seal well, and if the lid doesn't seal well, it throws it everywhere. So we'll turn this on, we'll give it a go. I'm going to leave it on for like two or three minutes, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> That's been on for a couple of minutes. Don't want to leave it on too long because it'll start pissing the neighbours off. You do have to keep it down quite solid because obviously the looser it is, the less vibrations it does. It's going on two minutes. So what results we've got. So we'll run that under the tap now. Definitely cleaner. Not as clean as I'd like it, but I think with one rub over, because it has broke everything loose. So with one rub over with a brush, it'll probably come clean. That will. Let me turn the camera off so I can do it. So a quick rub over with a brush. Two seconds. I haven't took ages on it. And it's not pretty sparkling compared to what it was, so pretty happy with that. It took something down from half an hour of scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing to get that bright and get all the dirt out of it to sort of two minutes in the cleaner and. Uh, couple of seconds with a brush and a rinse and that's it. See, so you can start to get it out of the back. I mean, that was only 
minute and a half to two minutes in there. So if you put that in for five minutes, you do have to do even less to be. So pretty happy with that. All you need is an old sander, a tub and some cable ties. I will fasten it down better onto the sander. We'll have to see a good way of doing that. Um, but yeah, pretty good. Please like and subscribe for more tricks, tools on cars, bikes, all that sort of stuff. Like and subscribe. Right, I've just had another bike coming for service, the Marin there. And I thought, he's in game for the top service, which cleans up the, um, the drivetrain, but I thought I'll give this a go as well. So, let's have a look at his uh, cassette. There it is, pretty grimy. So we're going to chuck that into the petrol there, the diesel, sorry. We're going to chuck that into the diesel. We're going to put it on and we're going to give it a wash about and see what comes of that one. Might as well before the end of the video have another go with a different one. Um, not as mucky as the first one we tried, but definitely needs a good clean. So we'll put that one in, we'll see what happens. Drop it in there. Definitely got to get a better way of fixing this to the sander. Because the worst thing is when the sander's going, if this... When the sander's going, if this isn't down hard on the sander, it starts to shake off. And also, if it's not attached to the sander well, it doesn't shake enough. And it needs to shake to do the work. So we'll put this one on and see what happens. There we go. That's that's on pretty solid now. So we'll turn it on and we'll see what happens. <laughs> That's been going about two minutes. So we'll whip it out. So we've got. So it's been doing something. Put it under the tap. So we give her a good bit of rush. Put it back in the uh, diesel. Under the tap. There we go. Even coming. Wrap up. Definitely easier than scrubbing it in there in the parts washer or with anything else. So. Give it a go.